It's Vlogmas day 18, y'all. I'm on my way to work. It's 5.45 in the morning and I am for some reason in a good mood and it's Monday. I actually turned on my uh, interior light so you could see me a little bit. Um, yeah. I had like a hard time getting up this morning. Um, I kept like snoozing and I didn't get up till 5.20 or 5.10. So I had like 20 minutes to get ready. But I took a shower like before bed last night and everything. So I just kind of threw everything on, took the dogs out. But um, now that I'm like up and moving, I'm pretty like wide awake for a Monday. Um, so yeah, uh, nothing is new, um, didn't do anything yesterday, I worked three hours, but that was it, and we just like hung around the house, so I work all this week, and I actually work on Christmas this year too, because, um, like, at our job, like, urgent care is still open on the holidays, and so they have, like, a sign-up sheet, and everyone has to sign up for one holiday, um, throughout the year, but since I didn't get there until August, this year was already taken, but, uh, one of the ladies that was, so two people work, like, during the holiday, like, on Christmas, like, two of us will be working, like, registration, um, and so I told the one lady that if she wanted Christmas off, I would work for her, because she has, like, kids and grandkids, and she always, you know, spends time with her family, and I was like, I don't have kids, I'm not gonna be doing anything on Christmas, so if you want to take it off, I'll work for you, and she was like, um, yeah, like, of course, you know. So, I actually didn't technically have to, but I am working on Christmas because I really wouldn't be doing anything but, like, sitting at home. So, might as well let someone that has, like, kids and stuff have it off. So, yeah. I think, Star's not even, like, completely for sure, but they usually have, um, time off during Christmas. So, she thinks that Thursday... It's her last day this week, and then she probably won't go back until, like, after the new year sometime. So, uh, and, like, what was I gonna say? Um, I think they just get paid for, like, you know, Christmas and New Year's or whatever. So, last night, I was at work. Um, well, you guys know my story about the swap thing that I got, like, screwed, and I was so pissed about. I love <laughs> you guys' comments. I thought people would be hating on me, but you're not, and I'm, like, loving it. So, <clears throat> you guys know about that. And then, um, I'm just gonna turn off my light because I feel like people are like, why did she have her light on? But anyways, um, so besides that, the only people that I'm exchanging Christmas with is... Bernadette. Me and Star aren't doing it because of the wedding. My parents aren't doing it because, um, you know, financially they can't. And my mom's, like, you know, has to do stuff for the wedding because she has to pay for hers and Mira's, like, you know, their ticket, their hotel, all that. So, um, Bernadette's the only person, like, that I'm exchanging with. Um, so, I'm, like, lost in my train of thought. So, anyways, like, I know, like, if I get mail, like, the swap's already over. I got that. And then if I get mail from Bernadette, I know it's gonna, like, have her name or address on it. So, last night, I was at work. And Star called me, and she's like, you got a package. And I was so excited. I was like, for real? Like, somebody sent me a package for Christmas? I was so excited. And she's like, yeah, it says, like, Kristen something. And, like, I didn't recognize the name, but I was, like, maybe they have, like, a... Because, you know, I just I just assumed it was from YouTube. I was, like, oh, maybe, you know, they use, like, a nickname on YouTube and I don't recognize their real name. I legit was so excited. And I told... I was talking to someone on the phone and I was, like, okay, well, I just want to hang up with you because I want you to send me a picture of the package. Because I was, like, 
because yesterday it was Sunday and I was asking her like obviously it came on the mail on Saturday but they put it in the um like the mailbox thing like the apartment mailbox and uh I was like is it a package or is it like a card you know she's like no it's a package it looks like there's like three things in here and I was like okay so I want to hang up with you because I want you to send me a package or send me a picture of it I was super excited so she sends me a picture and I was like bitch so I ordered I didn't even think about it too I ordered something um, from Etsy for uh, my bridesmaids and maid of honor and that's what it was I was like and once once I saw it um, and it said Etiana I realized that the girl's name that I ordered from was Kristen something and I was like sorry you have me so freaking excited and she's like it's not like I knew and I was like I know but I was like so excited because I wanted to like go home and open it and I was super excited and yeah she just crushed my dreams but the packaging the like packaging or whatever that the lady sent it from was so cute it was like roses or something but it was like bubble wrap but I don't know how to explain it but it was adorable um and she sent me a picture of what they look like and then like I just I think they look cute I don't know I can't say because Bernadette might be watching this um so hopefully they like it. I'm like, I think they're really cute. Um, but I can't actually see them because they're like boxed, you know? So I can't like open them until, and see them until they actually open them. But yeah, you guys, I'm literally, you guys that watched the video about the swap that I done, I literally can't stop thinking about it. Like, I don't know why. I'm so pissed, but I am. Like, I'm really pissed. And, like, I feel ungrateful about it, but then again, I don't because I'm like, this lady did not even try. Like, she didn't try. And I think that's what pisses me off the most is she didn't try. Like, I tried to put effort or whatever into her thing. Like, it was hard. Like, I didn't know what to get her because she wasn't, like, into makeup or anything like that. But, like, I tried. And I think it just pisses me off because, like, obviously she didn't. And I don't know why, but I just can't stop thinking about it. Um, and then, like, you know, you have to post a picture of what you got on that page. And, like, I see, uh, like, other people's and they're so cool. And I'm just over here, like, yeah. And I told my mom, I'm like, I'm tired, like, of hoarding stuff. I feel like I'm cluttered. Da, da, da. and I said um, like for years I would get something for Christmas or whatever and I would feel so bad if I didn't like it and like if I donated it or threw it away or something um, because like you know I'd feel so guilty they spent their money on that for me blah 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 and like now I just feel like clutter consumes me um and so I've been trying to like not keep stuff like throw it away or donate it and so most of that stuff I'm gonna like throw away or donate and it's just like it just sucks like it sucks and like it would be different if um for one it would be completely different if she put thought into it like 100% I'm at work, but, um, 100% different if she put thought into it, or whatever, but I know she didn't, and for two, it would be different if, like, somebody got that for me for no reason, like, we weren't doing a swap, and someone sent me some stuff, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's totally different, but this is, like, we planned it, da-da-da, I'm just pissed off. This is, like, nine minutes long, so I think I'm just gonna upload this completely separate and then like keep vlogging throughout the day.